You know, the multiple cycle IVF program is a pretty unique program to CHR, which, which arose out of the recognition that CHR serves a unique patient population. Uh, not only are uh, CHR's patients probably the oldest patient population served by any IVF center in the U.S. or anywhere in the world, um, but it is also, in many other aspects, um, probably the, the worst prognosis population of any IVF center in the U.S. or in the world. Uh, even our young patients are not the traditional young patients. They come to us with very high FSH or very low AMH levels. So uh, age does not even tell the whole story. So our patient population is very adversely selected. and in practical terms that obviously means that their chances per try are relatively low and you know when you do an egg donation cycle where in uh, 2012 our pregnancy rate was close to 70 percent uh, you don't need a lot of cycles uh, because one cycle between the fresh close to 70% pregnancy rate and whatever you have frozen will you know, bring you as close to 100% as you can get in medicine. But when you are at the other extreme, as most patients are who come to CHR, uh, where you fight for every egg and every embryo, and the, 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 the pregnancy chances per transfer are relatively low, uh, you have from the beginning to consider the possibility that the patient to get to a reasonable pregnancy chance has to be willing and able both physically and financially to do you know three four cycles uh, and that can obviously become very expensive and so that's where the idea for the multiple cycle program came from uh, it is kind of like an insurance program in a way you buy the package if you're very lucky and you get pregnant the first cycle, uh, you may think you lost out, but you really didn't because you subsidized the other person who, who needed four cycles to, to, to succeed. Uh, so for us it evens out uh, because otherwise we couldn't afford to offer this program. Um, because in this four cycle program, basically the cycle cost is cu uh, cut in half. Uh, so that's a very, very significant cycle discount. But for patients who a priori know that there's a considerable likelihood that they need to give it a few tries, um, and this is a, a very good option. Now, when we started the program, we didn't know this yet, but we in, in, in recent uh, month, two years, uh, actually month to be more specifically, uh, we for the first time developed uh, very convincing evidence uh, to what we had suspected for a very long time and that is that um, taking patients who have very low ovarian reserve and on androgen supplementation with DHEA, uh, which most of our patients are, uh, taking them into cycles back to back uh, works synergistically. In other words, two and two is not four but five. We used to think, uh, and many colleagues still think, and it may still be true in the general and the average patient, that uh, there's an advantage to taking a cycle break. Uh, but uh, in patients with diminished ovarian reserve, which is again the kind of patient population that we primarily serve, uh, that is not the case. There is a hangover effect uh, from a preceding cycle and therefore uh, going back to back to back uh, adds up uh, additively uh, and synergistically and that again is yet another argument for these kind of multiple cycle packages. Uh, because it's much easier for patients to afford it uh, than uh, having to pay full price.